Brandon calling HB. Brandon calling HB. Come in, Brandon. I'm reporting from the Focus Mine. We got the Paratron here without a hitch. Are you sure you left nothing important at the Kites Ranch? I took everything, Chief. That is, everything except about a ton of high explosives. Well, suppose the Hudson outfit finds that. That's the idea. When they do, they'll never know what hit them. I rigged up a booby trap on the bottom step in the tunnel. Whoever comes down those stairs will blow himself and the whole house to kingdom come. It's just like a regular cellar to me. There's nothing behind it. Let's take a look at this wall over here. Get these out of here. Shut off the blast. Dr. Hoff to see you. Send him in. Well, I was afraid you wouldn't make it. Barrett Temple. Did anyone see you come in here? Possibly. As a matter of fact, Hudson Station Wagon is outside, waiting for me. With two men in it. What? A letter of introduction from Mr. Hudson. He said you could get me anything I wanted. A letter of introduction from Hudson? <laughs> That's a good one. Send you right in. Perfectly legitimate visit. Just like one of the family. Did you have a pleasant weekend? Pleasant and interesting. Particularly when they found a vein of the energized quartz, large enough to supply all we need. Now, why wasn't I told this before? You better hurry up and check those outlaws. Why, are you worried about me? No, but pretty soon you won't have any more space left for bruises. Then what'll I do for first aid practice? Oh, Jim! Jim! There's a couple of fellas riding down the trail. Uh-huh, just as I thought. They're checking up on their booby trap. I want to catch at least one of them alive. Now, look, here's what we'll do. Thank <laughs> you. 
Did you get the other one? Well, I winged him, but he wouldn't fall off his horse. There's something wrong with this gun. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Well, I got this one anyway. We sure did. Go we'll see if you can find his horse. I've got enough financial claims against the gunsight mine to give me the legal right to put in a bid once we get the Hudson's out of the way. Good. Are you sure Jim Hudson knows the book we're using? Certainly. Well, that offers an interesting possibility. What do you mean? Could you get him to listen in on us tonight at uh, 12 o'clock? But he may recognize your voice. I don't see it. Never mind that. Do you think you could do it? I can try. All right. Tonight, tomorrow night, any night about 12 o'clock. Now, you'd better do your shopping and get back to the gun site. And get word to me just as soon as you know. All right. If your men hurt? No, no. One of the outlaws. I got him this morning. I hope we can get some information out of him. Is he badly injured? There are no bones broken. He may be hurt internally. I don't understand it. I couldn't have hit him that hard. Do you mind, Doctor? Not at all. I'll go get some smelling sauce and see if we can bring him to. He seems to have a concussion. Possibly a fracture. I believe he should be taken to the hospital in town. If I had my way, I'd turn him over to the marshal. I don't believe in coddling crooks. I'll bring the station wagon around front. You telephone the hospital and make the arrangements, will you, Ruth? You've got to get me out of this. You must act quickly. Here, take this. You might make use of it. Just have word from the chief that you're not to use the short wave anymore till you hear from house. I believe our patient is regaining consciousness. Well, take it easy, fellow. My head. My head. Oh, you'll be all right. Do you think you can answer some questions? You might try. Tell me, where's your gang hiding out? No. Well, who's your leader? No. You'll have to talk sooner or later. You might as well tell me now. He was muttering something about shortwave. As if he had to listen for something at a certain time. Radio, huh? I wonder if... Were you supposed to listen to a shortwave broadcast? Oh, leave me alone. Tell me that one thing and I won't bother you anymore. Shortwave. Midnight. Midnight. Help me get him out of the car.
Jim! Jim! There he is! Stupid. Imagine me falling for a trick like that. I remember the fractured skull. He's doing all right. <laughs> You're telling me. Well, there's only one way we can get back to the mine. You mean... Mm-hmm. <sighs> you know, there's one thing I can't figure out. The knife. The knife? Yes, where'd he get it? Joining Pope. Move the boxes you will find at the bottom of the old shaft, the designated spot on the coast. You got that? Okay. Take me off. Take me off. Hey, you don't suppose that parrot, uh, that parrot thing could be in those boxes, do you? Well, I don't know, but it's worth a try. What do you say, Pop? If we want to get there before they do, let's get going. We ought to arrive a little after dawn. Shaft. I haven't been up here in 20 years. Don't look like no one else has, neither. The paratron's down there. They've done a good job of hiding it. Get those boards over there. I'm going down to take a look. That cribbing's pretty rotten. Better put on a safety rope. We'll need it to pull up the paratron anyway. Are you going down, too? <laughs> I'm just as nosy as you are. Right, now give me that crowbar. I'll let them get all the way down the shaft. Son, for some smart figuring. Come on, let's get it out of here. Wait a minute, Pop. That doesn't feel right. Rocks! Look out below! Come on, man. Let's get out of here. That's for the perfect accident. 